Howdy peace, welcome back to Oracle of Ages. Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, I'll just say Oracle of Ages. Last time we started the prologue and Nero got kidnapped. Now we are in the Maku Tree in the past. Maku Tree, God. We're not in the Maku Tree, but... We're somewhere near... Whatever. Was I supposed to push that the entire path? <laughs> no. I just thought about it, I'm like, um... Probably not. Uh, obviously what this one's supposed to do. I'm supposed to go touch this. But, yeah, well, let's just get started with the game. I'm not even going to give that big of an intro anymore. Episodes will be at least 20 to 25 minutes, because Legend of Zelda games, face it, most of them are pretty damn long. Got any key? Use it to open locked doors. Or block. And the door or block. Okay. Don't know what that means, but uh, let's continue. I guess once you clear out enemies in here, they don't show up again. There's a door. Just push it. Why can't I push it? Maybe it's the other one. Nope. Um. Okay. There's a certain block that's gonna do it for us. Isn't there? What am I doing? <laughs> Touch it. Okay, I thought you had to push a block on top of it. Apparently not. Can you move these at all? Yep. And we got another heart piece! That makes two. I ah, know, shut up. You just move it and it opens up doors? Okay. Yeah, I didn't know this place was going to be a full-on dungeon when I finished the last episode. Well, it might not even be a full-on dungeon. And it's not! Oh well. We! This is the the guy Viren was talking about. Oh, I thought it was the little sprout talking. Get him! I'm going to hit you with my shovel. No! No! Let me alone! What's with you? Keep clear! Ah! Oh dear! Get them! Wow! You're so daring and cool! So thank you! Who are you? Nick? What a nice name! I'm the Maku Tree. You were brave. They said the Oracle of Ages convinced Qu Queen Ambi to build a black tower. Maybe she made them attack me. Thank you for rescuing me. I will never, ever forget it. And I promise I'll repay you when I grow up. This is about all I can do. Aha! Remember, I'll repay you when I'm grown up. When I grow up. Be sure to come and see me. Dear, um, uh, when I grow up, I'm going to be your bride. Ah, uh, I said it. Yeah. Oh, look. Ah! Ah! Ooh. What's up? Mm, it's weird. It all seems foggy. I'm f forgetting so much. Oh, you... You're Nick. Nick! Why are you here now? I've been waiting f so long for you. Don't you remember? Hundreds of years ago. Nick, you promised. When I grow up, I'll marry you. That's what you said, Nick. 400 years I waited, but I knew you wouldn't forget about me. Our hearts 
are bound across time by a thread of... What? That's not why you're here? Why won't you listen to me? Fine. You want to talk about Viren, right? Maybe Viren is using Queen Ambi to raise the tower to the heavens. If one of Impure Heart gets the power of Shadow, this world will be covered in darkness. That's what this is about. To know the past is to know the present. Viren could, could do as she pleases if she finds dark power in the past. All will go dark. Nick, you must stop Viren and save Nehru. Must I say it again? No? I don't recall, but I think you need the eight essence of time hidden in L Labrina to beat Viren. The essences hold the power to see the truth, and they hold my memory. You won't beat Viren if you can't see the truth. With the flow of time disturbed, my memory is fading. What will we do? I'm at the loss. But if you find the essences, I'll remember everything. And you'll be able to stop Viren. Please, do this, Nick. First, I want you to go to the Yol Graveyard in the east. Here, I hear the first essence there. I can't do much, but take this. The ember seeds and the seed satchel will offer light in the dark places and burn small trees. Follow your path. You got a seed satchel! And it has 20 ember seeds. Uh, uh, I'm inside the tree. <laughs> Where were you? Welcome, Nick. I am Furor, Oracle of Secrets. This is the Hall of Secrets, where your secrets take form. At time and places, you will hear powerful secrets. At those times, come see me, and I can give you shape and form to your secrets. Okay, shut up about secrets! <laughs> fire! I make fire. Okay. So it wasn't a full dungeon. Okay, that's great. Ooh. It's burning. What's this? Yeah! Now I'm going to the store to get something out of the store that I really need and it's a shield as you can see right here. Wooden sword shield? Yep. I want it! You got a wooden shield! I now. Huh. Oh, shut all right, time to head east. Am I heading east? No. I'm heading west. <laughs> Whoops. All right. I'm guessing this way. I really don't know. Of course you immediately have to use it again. Alright, I'm not equipping it until I know I'm out of the clear there. <laughs> well, I'm guessing that's where the graveyard is. Now we need to find the key. No way! It's too scary! It's pitch black inside that grave beneath the tree. Shut up! It's no good if you get scared. Besides, it might come out. The ghost. Yeah, run away, babies. Huh. 
So we need a uh, bracelet more than that. At least we know where we need to go. So it's over here. Money! Ooh, look. It's a skull. Does it open anything? Yep. There's our key! You got the graveyard key! Bumps. I'll probably still need it. Thought I burned you. Tch. I just wasted a seed. Now I got some hearts. And maybe money and money and money. Okay. If I don't seem very talkative, I'm focused. When I play a Zelda game or any kind of game where I need to be focused, I stop talking. And it's open. Kaka! I need you now. I, I enjoyed this game whenever I first had it. I hate that the cartridge broke. I think someone accidentally stepped on it. It wasn't me. So I guess this is our first area. Level 1. Spirit's Grave. Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, save right fast. Nope. No. Seven continue. All right, let's go. I don't know these levels very well. I've probably beaten this game twice. Can't kind of break those. Obviously, I went the wrong way. At least we know what I'm getting in this level. <laughs> the bracelet. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like somebody's watching me. Uh. No. Ha. Huh. I'll see who's down here first. Might be a map. Yep. Dungeon map! Can I even... I can't even move. That's just great. You have to go out and back up. Ugh. Let's go through this one. Trust me, I don't die as much in Zelda games than I do in Mario games. Can they even die? Huh. Guess I'm oh, key. Mine now. Aw. Uh, well. Let's open the door first. I want to get what's in that chest. You got a compass! That's helpful. Now it gives me locations. Huh. Huh. I knew it. A ring? Get it replaced later. Ow. Rat bastard. Alright, let's go through that door finally. Ow. There we go. 
That's the one thing about Zelda games I didn't like. You start off with very low amounts of hearts, but then you progress higher. So... Oh well. Let's see what's over here. It goes one way. Oh! Got another key! I hate they keep, they keep giving you those explanations. It's like, oh yeah, I don't know what a key does. Clearly, I know what a key does. Like, come on, people. A gash seed. Plant it. Okay. I can't go back that way. It's supposed to be to jump? Ah, hell. Zelda games aren't very difficult to jump. Is there something up here? Yeah, let's go up here. I still use my map. Okay. I miss a chest. Huh. Oh well. Uh oh. Ta Ooh. Gimme. Okay, I have no key, which is probably my fault there. Let's see. Up, over, up, over. Yeah, no one way to go down. It's... There's, there's some health. Let's see, I need to go down and right. Uh, Link blended with that panel. Okay. Can't do it from up there. I'll try and beat this uh, dungeon today. Or this episode. Sorry. There we go. Got a key. There's the key we needed. So simple to get. Ugh. I need to shut up. What's down here? Through the boss area. Down here, right? Can't get whatever that's supposed to be. Why are there bushes in a dungeon? At least we know what we need here. Stairs. Well, there's our item. That's what we need to progress. You got a power bracelet! Finally. Whew. And I think the boss we're gonna face is gonna utilize the power bracelet. It's level one. Just trying to see if there's stuff in it. I don't like a name thing. 
Just that, I guess. There's an item over here. Uh -oh. You got a ring. Get it appraised later. That one you have to keep over the item. We got the boss key! Alright, now we need to find the... Good God. Is there any more treasures? Nope. Now we're back at the beginning. Alright, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and save here. I'm not quitting, I'm just gonna save. Come on! Now we need to go to the top and get to the boss room. At least I know where the hell I'm going in this game. I have to kill this little bastard again. In order to open the doors. And don't accidentally push that one over, then you're blocked. Wrong button. Where do you get in at? Oh. Not here. Ding. So we need to go over one and up. And then the boss area is the next area. Next spot. Trust me, when I start getting like five, six hearts, I'll I'll be more reckless when I play this. Huh. Oh, I hate those little bastards. Go through. Hmm. Huh. Pumpkin head. Haha. Huh. Huh. Ah hell. I got one head. Oh no! Oh shit! Oh! Jesus! Yes, I want to continue. Ah hell! Well, I didn't show very much masterism or whatever. Am I really all the way up here? Well, that would have been easier. Let's just die on the first frickin' dungeon. Ugh. No! the essence. You got the eternal spirit, an essence of time. Even after life ends, it speaks across time to the heart. That's like the fanfare part. It's me, the Meku Tree. I hear, in essence, echoing in the western woods. Can you go there? Well, we know where we're going next! Alright guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we're gonna go to the western woods! The area I thought I was going to the first place! So I'll see y'all in the next episode. Thank
Thank you for watching and peace out.